what's happening gang it's your boy retro back again with another reaction video yeah yeah today we got another huge update this is coming on house speaker mike johnson as we now have rep marjorie taylor green hot on his trail guys she is coming out and stating that you know mike johnson our house speaker is not exactly who we think he is and that he should be voted out guys i'm excited to get into this update and see exactly what she's come for if you know new evidence on house speaker mike johnson and what he needs to be voted out for so we need to straight to the clip and i'll get my thoughts on the back end of the video guys definitely stick around until the end so you guys get my thoughts on the back end and also youtube push this video out definitely stick around till the end you guys but yo let's get straight into the video guys before we do that though make sure you guys hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button guys we're on the road to the truth hop aboard for the journey let's get into it y'all i haven't seen margie taylor green this mad in a long time uh it was speaker johnson was the final vote he was the one that caused uh the warrant amendment to fail um and i think that's gonna tell a lot of people what i've been saying is true uh so basically what's the difference in speaker pelosi and speaker johnson and there's nothing. she's mad that the fisa uh foreign intelligence surveillance act we'll unpack that for you show you who which Republican stabbed everybody in the back? Welcome to Doug in Exile. I'm Doug Tenaple. I'm the creator of Earthworm Jim, The Neverhood, and Nickelodeon's Cat Scratch. And now I do the news. I like telling people to repent before Jesus, and I like telling them what news they need to know. This is the big one today with Margie Taylor Greene. Do you trust the government? Do you actually trust the Department of Justice to police itself? Okay, now that we've seen the Department of Justice work uh, politicized against citizens, against journalists, against uh, political parties, do you trust them? I'm going to go with no. Do you actually trust Biden's DOJ to hold Biden's FBI accountable? No, we don't trust any of it. We know the spying's only going to go one way. So even if there's a foreign intelligence source that they're all investigating, they'll never inv investigate the left. They will always only go after Republicans and Christians. Even if I did believe in a FISA warrant, even if I did believe in that the government can spy on people without a warrant, I don't trust this government. I don't trust Democrats because they'll only spy on the other side. Now, here's the journalist Simon Ateba over on X breaking pure betrayal, spying on Americans without warrant. Rep Margie Taylor Greene expo explodes and says, She's going after Mike Johnson on this one. He could lose, she could vacate his seat now. And I'm really sick and tired of Republicans here in the House kicking the can down the road and saying, oh, well, when Trump comes back, Trump will fix it. Why don't Republicans fix it right now? That's what I want to see. I want to see a fight to actually do what we say we're going to do and stand up for the American people. I voted yes on the rule. Who voted what uh, on this FISA warrant? Because Margie Taylor Greene is mad, and I'm just reporting. I'm not, you know, to me, there's a lot bigger things going on in the world than the FISA report, okay? To me, the pro-life stuff going on yesterday is a bigger deal. But it doesn't mean this is nothing. I mean, the government is, is overstepping its reach on like a thousand different fronts. It's over just doing backwoods, funding stuff, taking your tax dollars, removing your rights, just <clears throat> goofing up your life thousands of ways every day. This is just one way. Here's Greg Price on X breaking the full bill to reauthorize FISA. So it was going, then it was going to dry up. And now they reauthorized it. Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act. Surveillance powers for two more years just passed. 273 to 147. 126 Republicans and 147 Democrats voted in favor. Who are the 126 Republicans? Well, aren't you lucky? Look, I brought you a list. I'll, how about if I run them right up the side of the screen right here? I did recognize, the only ones I really recognized was Dan Crenshaw. That's the eye patch guy. And, uh, I think uh, Elise Stefanik, or a couple of people. Elise Stefanik, as you know, is one of my favorites on the right. But you got to remember what they do is they show you the kinds of, of terrorism going on behind the scenes in the country. They show the all these Republicans and go, are you sure you're going to make us get a warrant before we can spy on this? And they show them the worst and they go, no, go for it. Problem is, I just I don't trust Democrats. But at the same time, you don't want, you know, the government's going to have to spy on. That's how you stop. That's how you get ahead of all these attacks that could go down. 
I'm voting yes on the warrant requirement, and then I am voting a big fat no on the FISA bill altogether. And that's exactly wow. what we should be wow. doing. At the very least, if you're going to spy on American citizens, you have to get a warrant. Then she's going, and other than that, no on FISA. Could be spying on any one of us without a warrant for another two years. And that the Republicans, even the Reiners, are going, we're waiting for Trump to come into office to fix this. I think that's very interesting because they see him as bringing back our protections, our, our privacy, our right to not be spied on. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. It's pretty simple. Foreign intelligence surveillance. Do you spy on U.S. citizens with permission or without? Yes or no? Yes, you can spy on them or no, you can't spy on them. And you know what the worst thing that could happen could be uh, if you don't let them spy on you. And then you know the worst thing that's going to happen is they're going to spy on all of us, all of our churches, all of our uh, d direct messages to each other if we do let them spy on foreign intelligence. Yo, there we have it, guys. Coming from our friend Doug in Exile. I'll definitely be sure to leave that original video link down in the description box below for those who want to go over there and check that out. Also, you guys go over there and show our friend Doug a bit of love. Oh my goodness, guys. There we have it. Marjorie Taylor Greene coming forth and absolutely blasting Mike Johnson, our House Speaker, for his action and not signing, you know, to get a warrant for that FISA bill, guys. She wants, you know, the government not to be able to spy on us. And I mean, rightfully so, guys, if we're going to be getting spied on, at least you have to have a warrant. Let us know at least that you're trying to look into, you know, investigating us. I mean, I don't want the government to just be able to spy on us, you know, get, get in our private life, going to all of our, you know, deepest secrets or everything that we think we have private um you know without a warrant guys and for almost you know little to no reason and i feel like that's the point that you know mtg is trying to make saying that you know we at least gave you a warrant you know and you knew that this investigation was coming you know that we we're like looking into you versus it just being they're spying you know tapping into our private lives our personal and our you know our, our financial information whenever they want to you know freely because they have the you know the authority to versus you know it being a legal act and they have to get a warrant first we don't have to you know look over our shoulder or be worried about someone you know spying into our our personal personal lives every single day. I don't know guys, we just got some very good claims coming from, you know, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene um, on House Speaker Mike Johnson stating that why he should have, you know, voted in favor of the warrant being provided by the FISA Act. We're being honest, I'm not sure where this move comes from from House Speaker Mike Johnson, but definitely glad we got MTG to hold him accountable, at least ask the questions, ask him his reasoning behind why he voted this way in favor of, you know, not providing a search warrant in order to be spying on American citizens. Really excited to see if we can get some clarification coming from House Speaker Mike Johnson on, you know, the manner that he has voted, why he has voted against, you know, providing a search warrant in order to be able to spy on American citizens. Definitely hop in the comment section, guys, and let me know your thoughts on this note. We got House Speaker Mike Johnson being absolutely blasted by Marjorie Taylor Greene, you know, coming forth on his decision to vote against providing search warrants on that FISA Act in order to be able to, you know, survey and spy on American citizens. Maybe this is why we've seen the recent partnership between, you know, House Speaker Mike Johnson and President Donald Trump, you know, trying to bring forth, you know, a proposed bill in order to, you know, eliminate illegal citizens or non-citizens from being able to vote in our presidential and federal elections, guys. Definitely hop in the comment section and let me know your thoughts on this. Though, is he trying to clear the air with you know that bill proposal make sure you guys hop in the comment section and let me know your thoughts on this one because mtg has absolutely got this man on blast on front street guys also make sure you guys hit that share button and share this out to as many facebook friends as possible guys share the truth also make sure you guys hit that like button it doesn't cost a thing hit that like button for your boy and also hit that subscribe button guys we're on the road to the truth hop aboard for the journey i'll catch you guys on the next one we got